the Trinity Test. On July 16, 1945 in New Mexico's desert, Manhattan Project scientists led by J. Robert Oppenheimer tested the first atomic bomb, a plutonium device on a 100-foot tower aimed to end World War II. Some feared it might ignite Earth's atmosphere, wiping out all life. Enrico Fermi bet on whether it would destroy New Mexico or the planet. The blast created a 40,000-foot mushroom cloud and half-mile crater. The atmosphere survived, but radiation poisoned residents, causing cancers and birth defects for decades. Oppenheimer quoted the Bhagavad Gita, Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. The test led to Hiroshima and Nagasaki, killing over 200,000, ushering in the nuclear age with lasting consequences. Unit 731 in Japanese-occupied China during World War II, General Shiro Ishii's Unit 731, disguised as a water purification lab, ran horrific biowarfare experiments. Thousands of Chinese civilians and POWs were infected with plague, anthrax, and cholera. Vivisections without anesthesia, frostbite tests, and grenade trials were common. Women faced forced impregnation for fetal studies. Lab accidents killed workers, and field tests like dropping plague-infected fleas on cities killed up to 250,000. The U.S. granted Ishii immunity for his data, letting him live freely until 1959. The experiment's brutality remains a chilling warning of science without ethics. The Nazi Twin Experiments At Auschwitz in 1943, SS doctor Josef Mengele, the Angel of Death, targeted twins to prove Aryan superiority. He injected diseases, removed organs without anesthesia, and sewed siblings together to create conjoined twins. One night, he killed 14 pairs with chloroform to the heart for dissection. Thousands died in agony, survivors scarred forever. Mengele's work, driven by Nazi ideology, yielded no scientific value, only horror. He escaped justice, dying in Brazil in 1979. These experiments show medicine corrupted by hate, a grim lesson in unchecked power. The Tuskegee Syphilis Study in 1932, the U.S. Public Health Service lured 399 poor black men with syphilis and 201 others in Alabama with promises of free treatment for bad blood. The true aim, study syphilis's untreated progression. Even after penicillin's discovery in 1947, treatment was withheld. Men suffered blindness, insanity, and death. 28 died from syphilis, 100 from complications infecting families. Exposed in 1972, it led to informed consent laws. Clinton apologized in 1997, but the systemic racism and betrayal left deep scars on medical trust. The Guatemala Syphilis Experiments From 1946 to 1948, U.S. researchers led by Dr. John Cutler infected over 1,500 Guatemalans, soldiers, prisoners, mental patients, and children with syphilis and gonorrhea to test penicillin's preventive effects. Using infected prostitutes or direct inoculations, they withheld consent and full treatment. At least 83 died. Hidden until 2010, it prompted apologies from Obama and Clinton. Survivors' lawsuits continue, exposing U.S. exploitation of vulnerable populations and ethical failures in post-war research. MKUltra In the 1950s, the CIA's MKUltra program sought mind control during Cold War paranoia. Unknowing Americans and Canadians faced LSD, hypnosis, sensory deprivation, and electroshock to develop truth serums and brainwashing methods. Frank Olson died after a secret LSD dose, likely a covered-up murder labeled suicide. Thousands suffered lifelong mental trauma. Ended in 1973 with records destroyed, leaks exposed its horrors. Congress banned non-consensual experiments, but MKUltra's legacy warns of science serving espionage over humanity. The Aversion Project During South Africa's apartheid, 1971-1989, Psychiatrist Aubrey Levin forced gay soldiers into cures for homosexuality. Electric shocks while viewing same-sex images, chemical castration, and 900 botched gender reassignment surgeries left victims mutilated, suicidal, or dead. Levin was later convicted of sexual assault. Exposed post-apartheid, the project revealed medicine's role in enforcing homophobia, sparking outrage over the abuse of psychiatric power and its lasting trauma. The Monster Study In 1939, University of Iowa's Wendell Johnson tested if stuttering was learned using 22 orphans. He told normal-speaking children they were stutterers, criticizing their speech. This induced anxiety and lifelong speech issues. No deaths, but severe psychological harm. Hidden until 2001, the Monster Study led to a university apology and $925,000 in settlements. 
It remains a stark lesson in the ethical dangers of experimenting on vulnerable children without regard for their well-being. The Stanford Prison Experiment In 1971, Philip Zimbardo turned Stanford's basement into a mock prison with college students as guards and prisoners. Guards became abusive, stripping and humiliating prisoners, causing mental breakdowns. Planned for two weeks, it ended after six days when Zimbardo's fiancé intervened. No deaths, but the intense stress showed how environments breed cruelty. The experiment reshaped ethical standards but left participants with lasting psychological scars. The Little Albert Experiment In 1920, John Watson at Johns Hopkins conditioned nine-month-old Albert to fear white rats by pairing them with loud noises. The fear spread to furry objects. Albert was never deconditioned and died young from unrelated illness. His mother's lack of consent made the study ethically abhorrent. Though it advanced behaviorism, it sacrificed a child's well-being, prompting ethical reforms in psychological research to protect vulnerable subjects. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe for more on history's darkest science and drop suggestions in the comments.